Trika here decided to come to you guys tonight with a really quick tutorial on this really cool little Mexican quinoa dish that I make. I made a few times and I really, really liked it, so I decided I wanted to share. You're going to need one cup of cooked uh, quinoa. So that's the first thing you're going to need. And then you're going to need to add just a little bit of um, chili, your chili powder. You want to add about a half of a um, teaspoon of that. Then you also want to add a half of a uh, teaspoon of your uh, cumin. And then you also want to add hmm, some um, some green onions. I think this is around like, uh, I think it was like a half, like a half a cup of um, green onions. I like that. You can opt not to use them if you like. Also, we have like two cups of um, black beans. These are black beans. And then we have about two cups of corn. You can do like a half cup if you want. I decided to do two because I like corn, so I'm cool with corn. Then you also want to add one can of your favorite um, uh, enchilada sauce. So you want to put that in there. And then you're going to mix it all up like so. And once you get it all mixed up there. You can also add salt and pepper too to taste if you like. I mean, I just opted not to do that, but you guys can do it however you like. I'm going to put some more of this in there. Press that. So you want to mix that all up. Then you want to add it to this nice little, well, I forgot. Hold on. I want to add just a little bit of olive oil because I'm an olive oil nut. Love it, love it, love it. I want to add this to it. This is actually an 8 by 8 um, Pyrex dish or whatever you want to call it. So you want to add that. Add your quinoa. Add your corn. Add your black beans. Add everything that you need to add to it. Then you want to add about a half a cup to two cups. I think this is more like two cups because I like cheese. I mean, I try to go, you know, you guys know, as healthy as possible. But you uh, use your discretion and however you see fit. So you're going to add your cheese like so. You're going to preheat your, your oven. I forgot to tell you guys, at 375. And you're going to cook this for um, 15 minutes. So I'm going to put this in the oven. And I'm going to come back and show you guys exactly how it looks. Smooches. All done, guys. Now I'm going to cut it and serve it. And I'm going to show you guys what it looks like on my plate. Isn't it beautiful? Kiss it. Kiss it. I said kiss it. <laughs>